Well, hello everybody! Welcome to another vlog. I would say guess where I am, but it's gonna be on the video title, so you're gonna know that I'm in Nottingham. And um, we have been here a little while I'm with the lovely Matthew who is over there. Give us a wave, Matthew. Oh, hello. <laughs> You'll all remember Matthew if you watch my Liverpool vlogs, but um, yeah, we're staying at the Jewish Inn, which is literally just across the road from the train station. Had a really smooth ride up here. Matthew didn't, he got delayed. <laughs> But it was his turn because I got delayed last time, so we're just taking it in turns to have the train delays. But yeah, we're staying at the Jury's Inn, so I will give you a quick room tour, even though we haven't got the ironing board out at the moment. But this is where we come in, and then we have all of our clothes. That's one of my little dresses. I think it may be a little bit too summery for January, but we'll worry about that another day. <laughs> and then we have a bathroom, we have all of our stuff here. There's a toilet in the dark little corner over there. And then we have the shower, and it has like some shower gels and things like that. And then we have the ironing board, because we've been ironing our clothes. <laughs> and then here I have got all my clothes and stuff, because I've just got a big um, backpack instead of a suitcase this time. And we have snacks, we've got fruit, and obviously alcohol, because we're on holiday. In fact, I'm drinking one right now. <laughs> Um, then we've got the TV, we've got the tea and coffee making facilities, um, tea beds, so we've got a double which Matthew has very kindly let me have, and he has a single, and there he is, and then you can't really see the view, well, mm -hmm. you can see me in the reflection, <laughs> I'll give you a proper little look at the view tomorrow, but what I will say is it's definitely not as nice as the view that we had from Liverpool because we had the view of the lower buildings and stuff. If you haven't seen those vlogs, go check them out on my channel. Anyway, we are just getting ready to go out. We're gonna go and have dinner at a place called Yamas, which is a Greek restaurant. Um, I'll obviously take you along. And we may go and have a couple of cocktails after. It's our first night. <laughs> I will speak to you soon. To Yamas, and we have got a set menu. Matthew has actually a Greek beer. I've gone boring with a side up. But yeah, we've got a set menu. You can try all those different things. So we've got the Greek salad, bit of bread, and then we've got tzatziki hummus, and this is something with chili in it. And we are dying to try it, but it looks amazing. So let's go. Okay, so we have round two. I did take a picture. It was nicely on the, on that plate, but I have prawns and I have sea bass. Matthew's fighting a prawn. <laughs> He's going to be brave and try one, but this looks so good. Definitely love the prawn. I've never had sea. Oh, I have had sea bass before. I had it. At Cafe Mickey. Yeah, we still have salad and thing else, but uh, yeah, well, let's try. So we have round three. We have feta and spinach in filo pastry. There's a word for it. I can't remember. I'll put it on screen. <laughs> um, some Greek sausage and some fried halloumi. And this is a pasta dish, which is mince. Is it? It's mince, and I think it's feta. Yeah. yeah. So that looks amazing. I almost finished my sea bass. I just the skin or fish freaks me out. I'm such a weirdo. But yes, we are going to try these. Right. This is the fourth. And we think and hope final round because we are very full. So we have a beef stew, we have lemon rice, rosemary potatoes, and a chicken skewer. I still have a little bit of this left. And well, how are you feeling, Matt? Full. 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 But yes, we're going to try some of this. So we have come to the Canal House bar. Um, I've got a raspberry gin, Matt has got a vodka and coke, he's just got the toy actually. But like how cool this place is, the canal actually runs through the bar and there's two canal boats in here. They've got the little bridge there that goes over and then you've got the bar area over there as we're seating. But this is such a cute little place and I love the fact that the boats and the canal just literally go through the middle of the bar. So I am going to enjoy this gin. I will say though that the food at Yamas was amazing, but I'm so full. I literally am so full, so we had a little walk and then we've come here to have a drink. But yeah, the food was amazing. Um, but just too much of it. I literally just couldn't finish all. But yes, we're gonna have a little drink now. Good morning! Today is Friday, the 21st of January. <laughs> Um, I didn't vlog off last night, but literally we had a couple of cocktails at the canal bar that I showed you and then we came back and crashed. Travelling always makes you tired, so, and we've got a busy day today. We're up and ready. I have a black dress on. 
some nice gold accessories here. Um, we are heading to the Justice Museum in about half an hour. And there's Matthew. Hi! Hi. <laughs> um, and then after that we have a bottomless brunch booked at Revolution de Cuba. Um, and I've got a breakfast burrito ordered, so that's what I'm going to have there. And lots of cocktails and Prosecco, hopefully. <laughs> um, that's the plan, so we're just finishing getting ready. Gonna head to the museum. I don't know how much I'm gonna film in there just because I don't know what the rules are. I know some museums let you a little bit and some don't. So we'll see, I'll get what I can. <laughs> um, and then we'll obviously I'll better film whatever at the brunch. Cause you're gonna wanna see that one. But yes, I'm gonna take you along for the day. So let's go. <laughs> Down in the cells. We have all, all the creepy things that happened. The my ticket relates to the whipping, so we've all got convict numbers. I have a found on here. And this is me, convict number C1569, and I was whipped. Matt was, had a skull to brittle, which is this one, which looks awful. I guess that's it. Yeah. This is the courtroom. We're having a trial in a minute. Nice is over there. It's very grand, isn't it? That's where the judge is going to sit in a minute. The Justice Museum, and we are in Old Market Square. There's the old is it the Parliament building, or the Council building. I think so, yes. And we've got trams. I love a tram, how we're just going to go to find our bottomless brunch with the Justice Museum. How cool was the Justice Museum? It was yes, fun. Well, it was, it was good. It was informative and we spoke to three different people. Yeah. There. Yeah, no, it was good. I enjoyed it, it was fun. It was in there like two hours, so let's go and get some cocktails. <laughs> we have made it to Revolution to Cuba. We got a mimosa on arrival and we've got some chips of guac started off with Prosecco so we've got some drinks lined up ready we have got a few choices of drinks I am going to go on to a strawberry daiquiri later possibly a just one I fizz and I've picked for my meal a breakfast burrito so soft flour tortilla stuffed with sausage bacon chorizo omelette mozzarella and a spicy tomato sauce served with a homemade block so that'd be nice yes it's a really cool restaurant I've got the Cuban music I always forget what this guy is called Someone will comment and tell me, I'm sure. But yes, it looks really cool in here, so we are going to get on with some cocktails. We have food. My breakfast burrito has turned up, which looks amazing. I have some more guac and potatoes. And what's that one, Mark? The... It's got pulled pork under it and there's yeah. poached egg. And like a toasted muffin style thing. Yeah, it's the Cubano Benedict. That's what. Yes. So I'm looking forward to this. This. I already can't speak. I've only had one for a second. Um, but I've got a strawberry daiquiri on the way. Okay, so food is done. I'm almost done with my strawberry daiquiri. Matt's got his apple spritz, and now we have the Serrano fizz. So I might actually try it live on air. Look around. There's me. So let's give this a go. Oh! Okay. That needs to try it too. Okay. Have a little sip. Not the same reaction as you. <laughs> yeah, it's actually quite nice. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like it. It's just, um, yeah, it's very, it's the Sawara, it's almond day, but it's on how many cocktails is this in? It's the fourth? It's the fourth? Yeah. Guys, I've dragged Matt to the pit and pendulum. It's a rock bar. It's so cool. We've got some drinks, but look how cool our chairs are. We're like in a little nook. <laughs> Matt loves it here, don't you, Matt? And I've just noticed there's a jukebox over there. I could be tempted. Sorry, Matthew. So we decided to go for cocktails. We've got Beastie Boys in the background. I've got a Thor cocktail. It's very nice. Matthew, what do you have? I've got abstinence. Uh, really? <laughs> which is raspberry vodka, the blue caraco, yeah. and lemonade. This is blue caraco, yeah, it's got rum, 
apple juice cranberry juice. Yeah. But look at that, it's blue at the bottom. Yeah. We're in all bar one. I won't be on here long because of copyright music, but I have a pineapple daiquiri. It's very nice. Matthew has a raspberry shoe that he's dropped them in his drink. What is that called? It's a French martini. So French there's wood, uh, and pineapple, and jumbo and stuff. It's yes. good. This has got a double shot of rum in it, so this is going to be good. It is very nice. Good morning! Today is Saturday the 22nd of January and we're still in Nottingham. I didn't actually vlog off yesterday but we was in the Ubo one which I did film I believe and we had a couple of cocktails in there and then we came back and we got chicken and chips from the little takeaway place around the corner. But today we are going to the city of caves this morning which is some kind of cave system that goes underneath the city so I'll try and get some footage of that dependent on what I'm allowed to film. And then we are going to Taco Bell, which I'm so excited about because I love Taco Bell and you can't get it anywhere near where I live. So every time we come on a city break, we have to do that. And then this afternoon we're going to go and hit the shops, have a look around. And then tonight we're going out for cocktails. So I will bring you along for the adventures. So we are down in the caves. This is one of the wells. You can see money down there. Yeah, we've got mud heads apparently, some of it's quite narrow. We've got Matthew over there. I know, I just, uh, she found me this morning, I must have got lost last night. Cave dwelling. <laughs> but yeah, it's cool. We've got an audio thing on my phone so I can listen to what's happening. Oh, as the world goes up. There we go, let's go and explore. So we've come through a lot of narrow area and uh, there's all animal hides on the wall. This is what they used back in the day. We've got goat skin, deer skin, pig skin, which is missing cow hide, calf skin, and sheep skin, which is also missing. But look at the caves. Ooh. You have to have benches in here as well, in case you want to have a little sit down. Oh, this is the tannery. Matt. That's why all the hides are here. Matthew? <laughs> We've got a barrel behind Matthew. And we come through. You need to look to the left. It's so cool. Oh, we need to look to the left. Oh, look at this. There's more water down there. Wow, that looks cool. I like all the lights and little like bridge areas or are you walking over some stuff in a minute? I'll give you a quick look. Yeah, look at this. We've made it to the air raid shelter from the Second World War. It's amazing. Look at all these artifacts. All the like the army helmets, gas masks, creepy dolls, Mickey Mouse, <laughs> and all the old papers and stuff. It's all the corrugated iron which was used for the air raid shelters in the Second World War. And he says here, Hitler will send no warning, so always carry your gas mask. But yeah, this is cool, it shows you how to put your gas mask on. We've got all the sacks here. And make a good soup. Dr. Carrot, the children's best friend. Yeah, this is so cool. I can't imagine what it would be like to be in the war though and have to come down here and stuff. But yeah, I didn't realise this was here. So we've come down to here to caves under Drury Hill. And look at this old bomb. And they've got an air raid siren, I believe that is. But look. It's just kind of creepy, isn't it? If you see up above where the cave kind of stops and they've got whatever it is seeing for it now. The city, I guess. But yeah, look. Ooh. So we've moved down a little bit further and we've come to a, an area where this is where people actually used to live. They said it was like the slum area, so obviously a big lace trade in Nottingham. That's why it's called the lace market and a lot of the poor people used to live down here. And these are all real, these are not like props, these are actually from that time. Which is absolutely insane. Can you imagine like living down here? See over here like a little table, a desk. And the cave that goes down. It's really interesting. Finally come to Taco Bell. Look at all the food. Nachos, cheese sauce, fries, some cinnamon twisty things. Got a crunch wrap some cream with see in there. Then a couple of roll-ups. Oh Matt's got his food really excited. Yeah but it looks like so much. We've ordered a lot of food. <laughs> we have to, it's so cheap as well though. We're gonna dive in. 
just in case she was interested, I've actually opened them up now so you can see the crunch wrap cream, the cheesy roll up, the chicken griller, and all of this. Oh, yes. So, we have just been in Primark. We might have done a bit of shopping there. There's Matthew looking after the shopping. We've got some guy wrapping down there, which is fun. Um, yeah, I'll give you a quick show of what I got when I get back to the hotel room, but yes. It's not sunny anymore, but it's very busy because it's a Saturday. <laughs> we are waiting at the tram stop, the tram stop, the tram stop. <laughs> oh shit, that one's going the wrong way. We've got a day ticket. Are you excited about the tram? Not as excited as you are. <laughs> <laughs> I love trams. I just find them so interesting. You only get them in cities and I just think they're really cool. They remind me of European cities, a lot of the, like um, Amsterdam and stuff. Um, Prague, they have them. Well, there's a lot of police about because the football was just kicked out, so I do apologise about that. But uh, yes, yeah, so we're just sitting here waiting for our tram. Okay, I'm going to do a little haul for you. Didn't get that much stuff, but, you know, I thought I'd show you. So we did the City of Caves, which you would have seen earlier. And I got in there this little Spitfire key ring. This is actually for my dad, because he always collects um, things that are Spitfire. Which is cute. And I got this dinosaur glider. This is a joke present for one of my friends. Don't worry. <laughs> I also got this little gemstone bracelet, which I have on. I thought that was cute. It was just like a little souvenir. reminded me of the uh, caves. There we go. I got a photo album, which is really, really boring, but this is for my mum. She's been looking around for ages for the Lapland photos. If you haven't seen them vlogs, go and check them out. But yes, I had to get that for her, so that's fine. Um, and then I went in HMV and I picked up the second Suicide Squad movie. If you know me, you know that I'm a massive Harley Quinn fan. There she is. She is my queen. Um, so I thought I'd get this because I have the original one. I have like Justice League, I have Birds of Prey, so I thought I'd add that to my collection. Um, I did go into Boots and I treated myself to a Dior uh, mascara. I spoke to the lady in there and she this said, oh, I can't get my words out. She said this is a good volumizing one, so I'm going to try this later when we go out. Very bougie, but yes, that's my little treat to myself. And obviously we went in Primark. Um, I picked up some masks because oh, they get damp when I'm wearing them for a long time and I'm just getting fed up with mine so I thought I'd get a couple of these. I've actually already been wearing this one because it was really cute. So I've got the little um, pink floral and then just a plain black one. I also picked up these which are some little headbands, um, ha hair ties for when I do certain hairstyles. I thought these are great, I might even use them later. I got this Bambi little lunch bag. I used to have the Marie from the Aristocats one and it just got like tatty and dirty, so I should be telling you prices, shouldn't I? Pound for the bands, 250 for the masks, and this was two pounds. It's so cute, I love Bambi stuff. I got this, this is unusual, and I just thought this is a really good idea. So it's obviously Disney, you've got Mickey, it's a phone holder. Then it comes with a little coin purse here, which has like um, space to hold your cards, and also this little cork. Um, coin pouch. I just thought it was really cute and I liked the colour of the car key. And it comes with the straps, you can literally just, if they're taking a full handbag, go out like this. I just really liked the idea of it, it was only £6 so I got that. And last but definitely not least, I got this beautiful little Donald bag. How adorable is this? Um, I'll show you the strap. There we go. A bit wobbly I apologize but yeah it's just a small little bag you can see it in there I just thought it was so cute I want to use it tonight but I don't know whether I better fit my vlogging camera in it that's the problem so I don't know but it's beautiful and this was there we go 10 pounds so yes that was my little Nottingham haul please let me know if you like any of these things and if you've been to Primark lately picked up any Disney stuff then please let me know we're gonna just chill in the hotel room for a bit and then I'll let you know what we're getting up to. Well, hello, it is now the evening. I didn't vlog much when I was shopping. I just don't like getting a camera in shops because it's a big old camera. Uh, Matt does it on his phone, so it's like easier. So if you wanna watch his um, vlog, so we'll link it below so you can go and watch his um, bit of the shopping stuff that we did. I did show you the haul though, but we are ready for girls night. Got a little black dress on here, I've done my makeup. I actually use my Batman palette and they've got my new Revolution, Eye Revolution eyeliner and my Dior mascara. I quite like it but it takes, if you know mascara, it takes like a couple of goes just to get it in so I'm going to keep on with it but yeah. We've just had a couple of glasses of uh, Martini Asti 
I think we're going to walk down and find the old trip to Jerusalem, which I believe is the oldest pub in England. And it's haunted. Uh, <laughs> Matt loves me because I take him to all the haunted places. Um, I think we're going to start there because it's the furthest one out and then move further mm. into town. But obviously I'll take you along and we'll see where we end up. We made it to the old trip to Jerusalem. Here it is. It was it's the oldest inn in England. It opened 1189 AD, as it says there. Yes, I was going to see if we could find some ghosts. So we are in the pub and I found a table here and it's literally in a cave. We're in a cave. We're in a cave, Matt. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that. I'm sitting on a nice chair here. Oh, see? Ooh. This is not even a <laughs> This is a cave, but how cool. <laughs> We have a nice glass of wine. Good morning. Today is Monday the 24th of January. So yes, we've missed a whole day. Um, I didn't vlog yesterday. So me and Matt were dirty little stop outs and got back really, really late or early on Sunday morning. <clears throat> so we laid in quite late. We went for a walk down to the castle, had a mooch there, had a Greg's come back here to the hotel and then we napped. Yes, I know, we're awful, we're terrible, I'm an awful vlogger, but I mean, I can't really film myself nothing, it just doesn't work. Um, we did go out for dinner in the evening to Weatherspoons, and then we had a pamper evening, and we just chilled at the hotel. <coughs> we watched TV, we did foot masks, face masks, it, it was nice to chill, and it's nice just to spend time with Matt, and like, you know, because I don't see him very often. But yeah, I'm going to vlog off because I'm literally just packing up here. Get my stuff, there is Matt. Matt, do you want to say bye? Yeah, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're just packing up some stuff here. And then, oop. <laughs> and then, yeah, we're gonna go and catch our trains. But uh, yeah, I do apologize in vlog yesterday, but there wasn't anything really to film because we didn't do anything like massive. But um, yeah, I'm gonna vlog off. Um, please comment below what you thought was looking the funniest thing we did in Nottingham. <laughs> Not yesterday. Um, <laughs> and give it a thumbs up if you liked it and all that good stuff and um, i hope you're all well be kind and i'll speak to you soon